So today we'll be learning about the small omega notation. So it is like a corresponding weaker lower bound that is defined for two functions f of n and g of n. So we can explain this with the help of a graph, something like this. We have a function like f of n is something right here, f of n, and we'll take a function g of n very like low or something like this which is way way smaller than f of n so this is how it works so we have the definition small omega g of n so a function f of n for any positive constant that is c must be greater than equals to 0 there exists a constant again that is n and not that must also be greater than equals to 0 such that we see that 0 must be less than equals to c g of n and this must be less than equals to f of n for all n equals to greater than equals to 0 so this this not this so let me like the this is this will give the lower limit so this can be shown by the help of limit n tending to infinity g of n upon f of n this must be equals to 0 so i'll write like explain with the help of an example suppose we have a function we need to prove that 3n is small omega of n so let me show you how we can do this so for that we need to assume f of n is 3 of n and we will take g of n something like very small 1 so now putting the values in limit limit n tending to infinity g of n upon f of n we get something like limit n tending to infinity 1 upon 3n so anything upon infinity is 0 so 0 got proved so we can say that this was a small omega function of n this is everything related to small omega notation so thanks for watching